Hello friends, you all must be aware of the regulation for limiting the main engine power in order to comply with the EEXI limits. Also to curb the emission levels, the voyage routes are being optimized and the main engines are operated at reduced speed. This is the present need of time. As a proficient engineer, our role in achieving the above goals is to maintain the engines from the effects of low load operation which I had already explained in my previous video naming precautions for low load operation of MA engines. In this video, I'll describe the maintenance job to be performed on the contactors of the auxiliary blowers, which is one of the vital factors for low load running of the engines. So friends, let's get started. The thumb rule for our job profile is to start with safety first. So first switch off the 440 volt power supply from the main fader panel located in the engine control room. Next switch off the breaker on the local panel for the auxiliary blowers. It is always a good practice to have a glance at the circuit and identify the various components located in the starter panel. This helps while performing the job. Make an identification mark for the main star and delta contactors of the circuit. Using a multimeter, confirm there is no source of power in the starter panel. Friends, I would definitely agree with you if you mention working with electrical safety gloves is very difficult. But please never perform the job without electrical safety gloves. It's for your own well-being. Once confirmed, the starter panel is with no any power source. Start to dismantle the contactor enclosures. These housing covers protect the coil and the moving contacts of the contactors from the risk such as overheating, explosion and environmental hazards like dirt and moisture ingress. Now you will get direct access to the moving contacts. Prior dismantling these contacts, always put identification marks to distinguish the sequence and direction of the contacts, particularly while assembling back the parts. Friends, please do avoid interchanging the position of the contacts of the contactors. Now start dismantling the moving contacts as shown in the video. To avoid the mix-up of the contacts, arrange them sequentially. Then dismantle the top and bottom fixed contacts of the contactor. Perform the same task on all the remaining contactors. Friends, the contactors are intended specifically for high voltage applications and designed for repeatedly opening and closing a circuit via the moving contacts. After a prolonged exposure to this process, the silver pads on the moving and the fixed contacts gets deposited with carbon, making the surface uneven. The most common situation in the contactor failure is the contact sticking, also known as electric arcing, caused due to the uneven mating surfaces of the moving and the fixed contacts. Hence, these contacts must be kept clean. When the silver pads on the contacts are one half worn, it's time to replace the moving and the fixed contacts. Once done with the cleaning of the carbon deposits, start to assemble back the fixed and the moving contacts. Just for your reference, apart from powering the high voltage and current to the circuit, the contactors also provide a range of other safety features 
सच एज द पावर कट ऑफ शॉर्ट सर्किट प्रोटेक्शन ओवरलोड प्रोटेक्शन एंड अंडर वोल्टेज प्रोटेक्शन गाइज आई डिस्क्राइब ईच ऑफ दिस सर्किट प्रोटेक्शन फीचर्स अलॉन्ग विथ हाउ डू अ कॉन्टैक्ट अ वर्क इन डिटेल इन माई अपकमिंग वीडियोज सो डू स्टे ट्यून विथ माई चैनल एंड ऑल्सो डोंट फर्गेट टू एड ऑन अ कमेंट एंड शेयर अ लाइक ऑन द वीडियोज दिस विल बी वेरी मच अप्रिशिएटेड Later, fixing all the contacts. Install back the contactor enclosures, and do check the free movements of the moving parts, as shown in the video. Now it's time to test the functioning of the contactors. So power on the breakers on the local and the main feeder panel. On the MOP screen. Change the auxiliary blowers mode from auto to manual. Start both the blowers manually and check the amperage on the emitter. With engines in stop condition and no scavenger consumption, the auxiliary blower motors should draw a minimal amount of current. This indicates the contactors are functioning satisfactorily. Your engines are now ready to rock and roll into the deep blue seas. This is Chief Engineer Ganesh wishing you all safe seas and healthy stay on board. Thank you.